you're buying a smaller car that drives well. You're thinking about the Volkswagen Golf and BMW 1 Series. Your friends tell you the one is too expensive. But do you really think that all you're paying for here is this BMW badge? Let's look at the equipment of this car. Under the bonnet there's a 150 horsepower diesel. You've got uh, full LED lights and you've got 17 inch alloys, which is actually pretty good for comfort. And I don't know, I like the shape. At first glance, the prices are quite different. This BMW is 42,000 euros, while a similarly equipped Golf is around 10,000 euros cheaper. So, so far nothing horribly special, but then you sit inside the car. And a couple things. First, the high quality leather. You're going to be hard pressed to try and find this with for example, Volkswagen or a Kia. And secondly, because our cameraman over there is a test subject, he often uh, brushes the ceiling of the car with his head because he's quite tall. I'm 180 centimeters and I sit quite comfortably, but in most cars, well, he's got a few problems. Not in BMWs though, because the seats go down far enough to be comfy for him. And secondly, because he's got hernia and it hurts, he's very happy to see that BMWs have extremely comfortable lumbar support. The Golf also does not offer all-wheel drive with a manual transmission, which costs about 2000 euros with the BMW. I wasn't joking when I said how good these seats were for our cameraman. They're also comfy. Even though this is one of the smaller BMWs, the car has plenty of cargo space, cubby holes and cargo nets on the back of the seats. It also has plenty of luggage space in the boot, which gave us no problems when storing our equipment. Don't expect more space under the floor though, as it's full of electronics. I often mentioned how the BMWs feel very pleasant inside. They are quiet, refined and comfortable, especially with this 150 horsepower engine, which is quite civilized. Now about driving perhaps one of the most important things with a BMW because I mean it's even their motto to uh, to have fun and enjoyment while driving and I do have to agree it is very enjoyable to drive actually it's got a six-speed manual transmission and you might you know think that's not really a very BMW thing anymore because everything is automatic but it's actually quite nice it's a, got a very mechanical nice feeling it's fun to uh, shift and also it's got a neat little trick, if you shift from a higher to a lower gear, the computer will automatically uh, bump up the revs to match that gear. So that's nice. The only thing it's missing is now to uh, up match the revs when you're shifting up, like in a Ford perhaps, so you don't have to call them about that. It's got analog instruments, not digital ones. But I have to say, they look absolutely fantastic now that they are, uh, they're a little bit new. And um, I perhaps even prefer these over the digital ones. So, fantastic work on that. It doesn't have the M steering wheel, so this one is perhaps slightly plasticky in the feeling. Uh, it does have Harman Kardon sound system, but if you were to ask me, I would probably forego Harman Kardon 
and still have a pretty good sound system and opt for an M steering wheel instead and still have some spare change to go. So, with similar equipment levels, the difference between the 1 Series and a Golf is around 8,000 euros. The BMW is really a lot of fun to drive, whatever mood you might be in. The answer of which one to choose is thus not so easy. The base 5-door 1 Series can be yours for 25,000 euros, while the most powerful and most equipped non-M petrol version comes up to 50,000 euros. For that coveted M car, you'll be adding around 20,000 euros on top.